what is up guys James here from the light of Raga YouTube channel and in this video we're gonna be doing a reading for all my Sagittarius Sun sign friends if you were born between the dates of November 22nd and December 21st you are a Sagittarius Sun sign and this reading is for you today we're gonna be taking a look at your money and abundance we're gonna see how you relate to money what's blocking you from money what you can do better uh, how you can basically have a better relationship with money and abundance and uh, it's gonna be an eye-opening spread I hope uh, let me introduce you to some of my crystal allies we have here on the table to help us out I've got a smoky citrina this is a, a beautiful crystal that's gonna help us get to the bottom of our darker issues I've also got a lab treated amethyst which is basically an, an amethyst that's uh, been heat treated and now has the properties of citrine I've also got a natural citrine from the Congo with a channeling face and also got a little uh, tumbled honey citrine piece over here. Citrine's the crystal of money and manifesting abundance. So I thought it would be appropriate energy to have here on the card table today. I'm going to be using the mystical tarot and this is a fun, quirky, unique deck that you might enjoy. Uh, but before we get too far, I just want to mention that this is a general reading. Not everything's going to apply to you in a very specific way. So take whatever you want and leave the rest. Uh, but remember, if you want a specific if you want a specific reading tailored <laughs> tailored just for you, uh, then head on over to my Etsy shop and we can tap into your specific energies. All right. I don't know why that's so hard to say, but you know. Okay. So uh, if you would give me a moment, let me ask the tarot cards a question. What are the energies of Sagittarius surrounding money and abundance at this time in mid-July? All right, that ought to do it. Let's cut the deck. And I'll deal out six cards. All right, we're also going to ask the Earth Magic Oracle if it has a, any message for you this uh, July for money and abundance type energies. <laughs> what, is, what message do you have? Well, I guess there it is. There it is. The message for Sagittarius. We will look at that later. That will be at the end. So, uh, let's get into it. This first card here represents how you see or relate to money. Wow, we've got the King of Pentacles. Um, nothing says I'm on top of my finances like the King of Pentacles. Uh, you know, this is a card for someone who uh, has mastered the Earth domain as far as making money is concerned. You know, that's how we're, that's what we're focused on today. So I get the sense that you guys know what to do. You've been doing it for a long time, and you're not going to get be deterred now. I think you guys have put in. You're just natural. You, you have that natural ability to, to create wealth, to create abundance, and uh, you do what it takes to get there, and you're, you're not really um, deterred by too much on your path to financial success and financial wealth. So yeah, Sagittarius, I think you guys uh, relate to money very well, and you're good at making it. Uh, you know, that might be about, you know, have something to do with your um, free, spontaneous nature, I feel like, um, and, you know, allowing money to enter into your life as well as well as going out there and getting it so yeah great relationship i feel like it's pretty healthy but you know there's negatives to every card and negatives to every side of the situation and perhaps a negative here is that you're a little bit too focused on money and maybe that's um it consumes a little bit too much of your life we got to look at both sides my friends we can't just see the the the, the roses okay so this next card here represents what you need in relation to money and abundance and wealth. And we've got the Queen of Swords. Okay, uh, I get the feeling that what you need is maybe to think about money in a more 
feminine way and a more relaxed way you know the, the masculine way of thinking about money is that you know i gotta get all the money i can so i'm better than the other person and that way I'm, i have more security than the other person and i could you know that's kind of a masculine kind of thing but this card is saying to me it's saying that um you need to start thinking about money in a more feminine way more like how can i use this money to help the greater good how can i use this money to make the lives of others better and I think that's something that uh, you can definitely take with you and, and start to incorporate into your life and it'll help to uh, bring change into your life because now you're not just so concerned about the acquisition of money now you're more concerned about helping people and, and making this world a better place so uh, I think that's one way that you can improve uh, your relationship with money is to you know think about it in a, in a more softer feminine way so that you're not so uh, in such competition with others and you're not so you know uh, what's the word I'm looking for <laughs> you know so uh, maybe selfish I guess could be the word I'm looking for so yeah interesting to think about alright this card that we're gonna look at next represents what you already have when it comes to money the court cards are out to die today we got the Queen of Cups for that so When I see the Queen of Cups, I think of someone who's very creative and is creating with the intention of helping others. Just like we talked about with the Queen of Swords. But I'm getting a, a feeling that you guys are... Maybe I was wrong in my assessment of the Queen of Swords. But I get the feeling that you guys are pretty creative individuals when it comes to getting money. And uh, you're, you're willing to look outside the box. You're willing to... Uh, Analyze what it is that you do really well and put that out there into the world. You're good at following your, your highest passion and your highest talents, at least, and your, your creativity in, in creating wealth and abundance and, and acquiring cash. But, um, hmm, I get the feeling that uh, there's a little bit of sorrow there. I don't know why. I'm not 100% sure why there's sorrow mixed in with this card as far as what you do well. I think we'll come back to that card. But yeah, I get the feeling that you guys are pretty creative. And you're you're willing to follow your creativity and, and allow your creativity to work for you in this world and create abundance for you so that you're not doing things that you hate, you know, for a living for the rest of your life. So, of course, remember, guys, this is a general overall reading and not, not everything will apply to you. So take what makes sense and leave the rest. All right. This card here represents blockages that you may have towards money and abundance. And we've got the Five of Cups. Alright, a blockage that you may have is that uh, you kind of focus a little bit on the negative aspect of money a little bit. Uh, you know, when I, th I see this card of the Five of Cups in this position, I think immediately that you see the dark side of money and you kind of ignore the bright side. And uh, of course, the dark side of money is that, you know, it's used for control. It, uh, you know, sucks away your, your life force. It sucks away your time, your energy. Um, and it's, uh, you know, the quest for money kind of can derail you from your path of life. And yeah, I get the feeling that uh, maybe a lot of you are just thinking about that when it comes to money. That's what you feel about it. But uh, I think uh, a blockage here is that you're you're not looking at the positive size, side of money. And in, in the... In, the, in ignoring the positive side of money, you're not really allowing the full energy of money to come through to your life. So rather than saying, oh, it's a root of all evil, what you should be saying is, you know, the more money I have, the more people I can help. The more money I have, the, the more security I'll have. The more money I have, the the more privileges I can give to my children, right? And there are such such great positives to having a lot of money and uh, or having enough money at least that, uh, you know, all the money that you need. So I think that is a blockage. You're kind of looking at the negative aspects of things, not really focus on the positive as much. And I, I don't have to tell you that that's not the best way to manifest abundance, uh, you know, by focusing on negative things. So yeah, I think uh, you already know what you need to do, but let's take a look at this card. This card represents the steps you can take to improve your relationship with money. I've got the Three of Swords. Ooh, interesting. Oh, okay. 
Uh, it's not all about you. It's not all about the ego. It's not all about uh, uh, selfishness. I, I'm getting the feeling of selfishness from this card, and uh, I think the steps you can take is to get out of your ego mind as much as you possibly can so that uh, you're, you're thinking about money from a more emotional perspective, or maybe an intuition perspective. Uh, yeah, especially when like setbacks come. I get the feeling that when a setback comes, you guys have a tendency to look at the dark side and get caught up in it and allow these setbacks to affect you negatively. When a lot of people who are a little bit more mature in this area will see a setback as a learning opportunity, as a chance to grow, as a chance to learn something new. Uh, whereas maybe for you guys, for some of you at least, uh, you see the setback as you know a big problem, an obstacle that's you know suddenly is going to deter you and you get kind of sad and you know what I mean? I mean, does that make sense and I'm not trying to admonish you for any reason I'm just calling it like I see it and uh, the step you can take is to stop allowing that to happen you know start seeing setbacks as positive things stop being a little selfish when it comes to money and I uh, realize that you know you're you've been put on this planet to help the greater good and uh, what can you do to assist the greater good what is your role here in 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 this world and uh, I think that's a sort of a, a new track of thinking that you can follow that might improve your your relationship with money because now you're telling the universe you know not I don't want to just create for myself I want to help others to create and now the universe is going to say to you oh you're gonna need more resources here here it is right so I think that's a great way to uh, improve your your cash flow your abundance uh, intake <laughs> okay all right this last card here represents uh what the outcome will be if you if you make some of the changes described in this spread and we've got the five of wands i get the feeling that uh people are going to uh not understand you know you've been this way for so long i get the feeling you know you're the king of the king of pentacles over here right and that's how you see money you've done it so well for so long if you change anything people are going to be like what's going on this is not what i'm used to i don't like this from you i don't like this softer especially like former employer or employ employees or employers your boss might not like it if you start to see money you know less uh, selfishly and uh so people are gonna kind of uh, you're gonna feel some pushback from that and uh as far as i could i i'm concerned that's a great thing you know if people who kind of vibrate at a lower vibration start to push back against you and they, they don't like uh what you're doing then that says to you that your vibration is raising you are moving past that level and uh they're, they're starting to grade on you because your your disparity in in vibrations are so so large so uh, yeah, of course, there's going to be some, if you do change, there's going to be some pushback from the people in your life. And uh, there's just nothing you can do about that. But uh, if you know that you're improving, if you're what you're doing is for the greatest good, then, it, you know, you can deal with that. You, there's, it's not going to really bring you down having people kind of push back against you. All right, so let's see what we got here. Overall, very kind of mixed energies. I get the feeling. Uh, I, I get the feeling that you guys are very good at creating money. You you, you know what to do. You do it, and uh, it's been successful. It's worked for you for for a while. And uh, maybe you don't want to change anything. I'm not trying to get you to change it, but I, I'm just reading the cards here. Uh, what you can, what you need to do though, is think about money in a in a more softer way. Like think about how it serves the greater um, community around you. Uh, but you already do you already use your creativity well so uh, you can continue to use your creativity well but maybe do it with more of a, a thought for others rather than for the self uh, and and be more positive when you do it and see money as a tool that is not only gonna pay your bills but it's also gonna expand and improve the lives of all the people in your in your sphere in your sphere of consciousness uh, because now you can help people and you can you can spread the love that you've received and um, you know allow your money to help the world rather than just help yourself uh, so have a more positive outlook and make sure that you're you're thinking about others and you're you know not letting setbacks affect you that's another big thing is, is setbacks can affect you pretty negatively i get the feeling so start to see setbacks as learning opportunities rather than monumental disasters basically and uh there will be it's not going to be easy there's going to be pushback people are going to say what's going on with this guy or girl uh this is not the person i know 
But that's a good thing because you're changing for the better. So, you know, you're not going to worry about those people, right? You're just going to shoot up. You're going to send a little bit more and um, either reconcile and they'll understand your change or they won't and you'll move on. And what can you do besides that? Okay. All right. This last card is the message that we had from the Earth Magic Oracle. And that message for you is my Sagittarian friends cave and sanctuary huh interesting okay so like a caveman views his cave as a sanctuary sanctuary a place where this caveman can go to be safe and to express himself and he's free there you know there's nothing to kill him there he's, he feels like uh, it's where he belongs and I think in order to ha improve your your relationship with money you're gonna have to feel safer around money like it's not an evil thing it's something that uh, you need you, you should always surround yourself with because it enables you to do so many things it'll protect you it allows you to pr express yourself it allows you to raise a family and and uh, you know protect the ones you love and so money has got so many great things going for it there's a lot of positives to money but you're gonna have to be more feel safer around money uh d don't have such a negative view you know just for, for example a lot of people say you know people with a lot of money are bad people and they have this view even if they can't even articulate it that's like what they believe deep down and that's just one way that you're allowing abundance to be blocked so um be feel safer around money feel like uh, you're protected in it and and really look at the the positive aspects of it there's so much good that can come from it that uh if if you're if you're not looking at it you're just gonna miss it completely and uh money will be just a thing that you have to get because society told you so so look at money more positively and uh, i think your life will change a lot all right, so that is reading. I hope you got something good out of that. Uh, remember, this was a general reading, and if you want a more specific reading tailored just for you, then head on over to my Etsy shop. The link is in the description and in the card, and uh, we can do a reading tailored just for you where I tap into your specific energies and we answer any problems that you may or may not have. And uh, I would appreciate it if you liked this video, if you got something out of it, and lets me know that I did something well. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions or anything you want to say about this reading, put those in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you have to say about things. And be sure to subscribe if you really enjoyed this video because you want to stay up to date on all the videos I've released because I release them pretty regularly. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Happy taroting. Peace.